Hello, my dears, and welcome to Victoria's Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Hasra Star Wars Rebels Mission Series number 19, Stormtrooper Commander, and Hera Syndulla. The packaging is more of the same and gives us a nice shot of Hera piloting her ship, the Ghost, on Star Wars Rebels. Let me go and get these two figures out of the packaging, and we'll take a look and see what they're all about. All right, you guys, so here we have our Stormtrooper Commander, along with Hera Syndulla, who, on first glance, isn't quite what I was hoping for. I love the Star Wars Rebels TV show and the line of toys, but um, Hera doesn't look a whole lot like the Hera from the show, which is kind of strange given the fact that pretty much all the action figures from Star Wars Rebels um, for Saga Legends and Mission Series have been dead ringers in terms of likeness for the characters they represent from the TV show. Um, so it's kind of a wonder why Hera, you know, doesn't quite live up to that. Now, she's not horrendous by any means. I just don't think that she's nearly as good as replicating her character from the show as those other figures. Our Stormtrooper Commander is the same figure from the Saga Legends Emission series line, only this time he has a new pauldron, which does look to be a new sculpt. And both of these figures come with their own accessory, which is quite nice. All right, so let's go ahead and look at our Stormtrooper Commander first. Give you a close-up of the head. Helmet looks quite good. Um, again, this is the same exact Stormtrooper that we've seen before, uh, only now he has the pauldron, which does look to be a new sculpt. And it looks quite nice. The pauldron is um, pretty clean-looking, nice shade of orange, uh, nice deep black. Um, really does look pretty good, and it kind of hangs off his shoulder quite a bit. It's quite large, and I like it. I like it the way it looks. Uh, the helmet, you know, just like with their previous release, um, is quite good in replicating the Rebels' look, though the paint is a little bit sloppy on my particular figure. Um, if you look at the mouth area, it's a little bit all over the place. The visor seems to be okay, and uh, other aspects of paint on there are pretty decent. Uh, rest of the figure, you know, same as with the previous Stormtrooper, um, you know, looks pretty good. You had all the little details that you would hope for there for the Rebels uh, Stormtrooper character. In the way of articulation, he has a silver here at the head, though it is a little bit tight because of the pauldron here. He has silvers at his shoulders, and then he has silvers at the hips, of course. For accessories, our Stormtrooper character comes with a trademark Stormtrooper blaster. And here is a comparison of our Stormtrooper commander along with our regular Rebel Saga Legends Stormtrooper figure. Um, again, the same exact figure, but the paint is different. If you look at the commander, he's got more of a yellowish kind of tint to the, uh, to the white paint, whereas the Saga Legends one is more of a vibrant kind of white color. Okay, now let's look at Hera. Here is a close-up of her head. Um, again, it's not a completely accurate replication of the Hera from the TV show, which is kind of a bummer because Hera is my absolute favorite character on Rebels, and I had higher expectations for this figure, especially given the, uh, the nice likenesses that um, other characters like Kanan and Ezra had. They looked a lot like their you know, characters uh, from the show. So it's a little bit interesting how they didn't quite accomplish that here. But again, by no means is it terrible. Um, I don't know if it's maybe a paint issue because the sculpt does look pretty good. Um, I don't think she was quite this glossy in the show. I think she's a little bit more of a matte color. So I think if they gave her more of a matte color of a, you know this kind of a key lime green here, it would have looked a little bit better. It's just a little bit too shiny. I believe that might be part of the problem. And other than that, it's not terrible by any means. Uh, she's got her goggles there on top of her head. Uh, her leku look pretty good. Um, you know, she has sculpted very nicely. Uh, and uh, you get some little um, patterns there on the sides of them. And uh, looks pretty good. The rest of the outfit is quite nice and very simplistic. Uh, she's a very petite figure. She's very thin. Her feet are quite small, so she is pretty hard to stand. Um, but, I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks like most of the details there are covered. The coloring is, is definitely good. Fortunately, they didn't color in the uh, little straps here on her flight suit, but, um, you know, it is what it is. 
Uh, boots look pretty good as well. There is what looks to be a holster there, but it doesn't work for her blaster because it's closed up and, you know, too small. But um, all in all, it, it's a pretty good figure. It's just not quite as nice as other Rebel figures have been in this lineup. And then we have articulation. Hera has a swivel at the neck, swivels at the shoulders, and then swivels at the hips. And she's got a lot of movement. As you can see, she's a very flexible Twi'lek. Okay, and here's Hera's blaster pistol, and uh, it's nice that she has her own accessory. This does look to be a new sculpt. It hasn't been used in any of the other figures, as far as I can tell. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Hasbro Star Wars Rebels Mission Series number 19, Stormtrooper Commander, and Hera Syndulla. All in all, it's a pretty good set. It is nice to have a Stormtrooper Commander figure, as we saw in the TV show. And it's finally nice to have hair, even if she didn't fully live up to my expectations. She isn't a bad figure. I just don't think that the likeness is uh, completely there. And that's my biggest problem with the figure. Other than that, she's pretty nicely sculpted. She's painted pretty nicely, except for uh, the little lack of uh, details that weren't painted on her flight suit. Uh, accessories are pretty good. Articulation is, you know, five points on either figure. So if you're collecting Star Wars Rebels, I do recommend picking up this set. Because you really do need to have Hera in your Rebels collection. All right, you guys, now stay tuned because next week we will be shifting our focus away from Star Wars and looking at some DC Collectibles Arkham Origins figures. And I have gotten quite a few requests for those, and, uh, you know, I finally got some at a really good price, so we will be kicking that off uh, next week. And then I also want to look at some of the uh, Batman Classic Collection, as well as uh, some new Papo Dinosaurs that I have acquired as always, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. We just reached 750 subscribers, which is totally awesome. Uh, it's all thanks to you guys. Thank you so much for watching the videos and for tuning in regularly, sharing the videos, commenting, liking, subscribing. All that stuff is great, and I greatly appreciate you guys doing that. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, bye-bye.